Hello everyone. I'll be starting a new video series called DAX Challenges. Every video will present a challenge that needs to be solved using DAX. First, I'll discuss the details of the challenge, then I'll demonstrate how to solve it. In this video, we'll take a look at our first challenge. I've got 10 teams, football teams. With this, I need to create two tables. The first question is to create a table to ensure each team plays two matches with the other team. And the second question is to create another table to ensure that each team plays with each other only once. In this Excel file, let me try to explain to you how the expected output should look like. I have my source data where I've got 10 football teams. And the first table should return two columns, team and opponent team, where each team will play the other team twice. For example, Arsenal will play with Aston Villa once. Again, Aston Villa will play with Arsenal the second match. So each team will have two matches. In total, you should have 90 matches. That's the first table. And the second table is the same, except it will have only 45 matches. That's because each team will play with the other team only once. When it comes to Arsenal, it plays with Aston Villa the first time. Aston Villa will not play with Arsenal again because it already played, right? So these are the two tables that you are supposed to create. If you are interested in trying it out, please download the files from the description below and compare it with my solution. Please feel free to post your answers and comments. Thank you very much. Let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. In order for us to create this table, we'll have to use a table function called generate. There are two table functions in DAX. One is generate, the other one is cross joint. They both are able to create cross joint between tables. So let's go and uh, create a new table. And I'll name it as table one. So let's use generate. When you use generate, it asks for two tables. The second table expression will be evaluated for each row in the first table and it will create a uh, cross join of these two tables. So let's say our first table is teams and in the second table I'm going to apply the same table because we want to create a cross join between the same table teams. Let's press enter. And we are having an error here. So it says uh, generate does not allow two columns with the same name, teams, team code. That's because uh, we are using the same table, it has the same names. In order to change the name of these columns, we can use another table function called select columns. Let me uh, comment this for the time being by pressing control forward slash and we will use select columns of teams and I want to pick two columns uh, the first column let me name it opponent ID let me get uh, the team code and for the second one let's say opponent team let me pick the team name so this will change uh, the column heading, opponent ID and opponent team. So what I can do now, I can cut this table, press control forward slash to uncomment. Instead of the second table, I'm going to use the expression I just built using select columns. Now this return 100 rows which is a combination of 
rows between two tables. It's a full cross joint. Now, if you look at the table, uh, we have an issue here. Arsenal is playing with Arsenal, so which is not right. So we need to filter out whenever the teams team names are equal. For us to do that, we can apply filter. So what I'm going to do here is check if the opponent ID in the inner table within select columns and I ensure it is not equal to the team's code which is coming from the generate the first table. Right. So whenever this is not equal, uh, it will generate a record. me confirm it now you get 90 rows where we have uh, each team playing with the other team two matches Arsenal with Aston Villa and again Aston Villa with Arsenal and so on now uh, we don't need all four columns we need to pick only two columns opponent team and the team name right I basically need the second and the fourth column here to pick uh, the desired columns from a table, you can again use select columns. Let me name this as teams, which will be team name. And for the second column, opponent team, I can use opponent team, which I have in my select columns. close this and confirm it now we are looking at 90 rows now it's returning the two columns that we want that's the first part of the question let's now move on to the second question in the challenge the second part of this challenge basically asks us to create another table where each team will play with other team only once let's have a look at the data in uh, the excel file this is the expected table with two columns and 45 matches there's a tricky part to this question for us to generate the second table we'll have to create a, an additional column in the source data table it will be an index column where we'll have incremental numbers from 1 to 10 we are going to need this table is let me explain suppose we are in the first team which is Arsenal and I need to create a combination with all other teams right so it will go with uh, Arsenal to Aston Villa and then Brighton and so on up to Liverpool and when it does finish we are in the second team which is Aston Villa it has to play matches with the rest of the teams right so in this case uh, it doesn't have to play a game again with Arsenal it has to pick only the teams that are after the current uh, index number which is number two the number two has to play with number three and so on right. to achieve this we'll need this additional column let me start creating this table in the meantime I'll explain to you how the solution is arrived at now let me right click on this and click edit query to go into power query where we are going to add an index column to our source table under add column I'm going to click on index column from one uh, this is fine apply and close this window now we have added a column here let me go back to my first table since the code is going to be uh, more or less the same uh, except for, for the additional column let me copy this code I have created for table one I'm going to create another table new table let me name this as table 2 and let me paste the code so what changes do we have to make here let me press enter and make sure we are getting the data okay there are 90 matches we are going to have 45 matches where each team will play with the other team only once right so how are we going to do this is the same method we have our teams here there where we have uh, three columns 
and when I filter uh, I need to filter based on the index number now I also need to add the new column let me call it index and now I can refer to the new column index column here right I don't need this uh, filter condition over here because we are going to handle it using the index column so I need to filter where the index is always greater than the index of the team that we have on the left side right. what we are essentially doing here is we use generate to have two tables the second table will iterate over the first table for each record so when we iterate on each record we ensure the index from the second table is always greater than the index of the current row which is coming from the first uh, table that way we avoid uh, creating a record against the same team or the teams that we have already played matches with let me quickly switch to excel and show you suppose if we are in aston or villa and we ensure the current number is two from the left table and we compare with the records in the second table from index three to ten with that condition right so if you are in five we need to compare with the teams that are above five right that's why i put greater than uh, comparison there that way we avoid uh, creating combination with uh, the same team or the team that we already played with let me switch back to power bi now if i confirm this we have the table created with 45 lines now we have solved the challenge by creating two tables as expected yes with this i have come to the end of this video where we managed to solve our first challenge hope you enjoyed this challenge please feel free to leave your answers and the comments in the comment section and see you on a future video thank you very much